Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Ryan here from Jonga. And you know, sometimes in life you you just do things because you can. You don't really know why you're doing them. Today's deck is a lot like that. A long time ago I mentioned the possibility of playing one Axis Dragon Link. Well, here is that deck profile. You may be thinking, one Axis Dragon Link, what is that? How does that work? And of course, it's a level one orientated build. And it has a few, you know, cornerstones to make it like that. And some cool synergies you might not have thought of. And uh, this deck does work. It may look a bit wacky, but I have played it in a tournament, tested it out a bit. And yeah, it definitely works. So let's get right into this uh, one Axis Dragon Link, or I guess another name you could call it would be Dragon Soul or Soul of Dragon. So, of course, we begin with one of the best level one monsters in the game, Magician Soul. And of course, the Apprentice Illusion to go alongside it. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory, good generic extender card. The best level one dragon in the game. A <laughs> black metal dragon. Um, even though Red MB's got errata, it's just so good. It floats. It does everything you want. And then another good level one. Tangy Spirit Adhara. Just generically good. Manx Needle Fiber, level one. We want level ones. Because we are playing one Axis Dragon Link, of course. Uh, and a Jet Synchron. Comes up sometimes in test hands. And... Sometimes you might need to get it off Needle Fiber. But yeah, he's pretty cool. And we do play Link Karibo, so if we draw the Jet Synchron, we can still do our full combo. And then again, what is our full combo? Um, we're still gonna, gonna play Rose Dragons because we are playing Dragon Link. Um, so I guess moving on to other random good level ones. Um, we play a Fan Guard because we're gonna play Unexpected Pack to Die, <laughs> Rocket Synchron. Um, quick launch get, gets him out again level one. We need to have synergy um, World Health Guard Dragon and Guard Dragon Promenesis um, So these guys are more to synergize with the max ratio of Dragon Shrine I'm playing But if you don't know what this card does, it's uh, when a vanilla dragon monster you control is sent to touch out of the graveyard You can summon this especially this at your grave, but then it gets banished So if you ever, if you ever start with die you can do some really weird obscure extending extension plays. It's just a free dragon. And it's level one, so why not? And of course, Brotor. Um, you can play more than one, but mm, it's okay. It's just a jacket one. And of course, Buster for the lock. And we play another die target, the Galaxy Serpent. And then we just play a round of just good generic dragon link cards, you know, rocket cards for our savage combo. The Rose Dragons because they're so good. How do you not play them? Baby White and Baby Black. We don't play Chaos Space in this deck because I think I don't have enough. Because these guys are Earth, Fire, lots of other random attributes. Um, yeah, I don't think Chaos Space really fits in this build because you'd want to. You don't want to discard this guy, that guy. Who knows? Um, and then Levian here, round it out just in case. Good removal card. Um, so then, of course, we're playing a level one centric build. We can play some hand traps, and you can play more Dita Crow. But uh, I think Dita Crow, Max Vela, Vela is pretty good. Um, depending on your locals, you can probably probably play more Dita Crow. Um, my locals, though, I like to play Lightning Storm because <laughs> there's a few backward decks there. Um, wait, ah. Uh, I'm sorry guys, this doesn't look right. Yeah, um, mm, that's better, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So three effect Veiler, um, and just three Ash. Because we have um, Dai and, 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 and Adhara in our deck, we can't really play Fanta or Nib. You possibly can, but that's fine. So there are the monsters we're playing. Uh, it is a 60 card deck, but trust me, it, it definitely works. Um, so let's just uh, scoop those up. Yeah, um, I guess I mentioned in a video a long time ago that I, I was going to do a uh, like all the accesses 
like there was a six axis dragon deck I had going for a while, but then Destiny Hero Malicious went to, to two. It's not that good anymore. Uh, everyone plays four axis. Three axis, I'm thinking about bringing back a three axis uh, s s synchro build. Not potentially, not particularly Dragon Link, but yeah. Anyway, onto the spells. Um, signature card of the deck, uh, we're off to. Um, again, it's Soul, we're off to. Social level ones, that's why you have a lot of the individual level ones, but then three of the good ones, the ones you want to draw. And then, of course, you know, Die is also a level one. Um, Dragon Shrine, so it's just you a level one. If you draw multiple, just to discard them off um, Magician Soul, draw cards. Uh, quick Launch, also a level one. Uh, triple World Legacy Guard, Guard Dragon. Um, again, you want to play it and then you want to send it off with Magician Souls to, to, to draw cards. And in particular with this card too, is because you play a lot of level ones, you can slap a link creeper and then dragon underneath it for an LP and then move it across. So a uh, very important synergy with playing the level one creatures. And of course, one for one. Um, so you just have so many level one monsters, but the signature of the deck is we're off through. That's what makes it the one axis. Of course, rounding out all the field spells that we're gonna search. Um, Magician souls can d discard these and send them to draw as well. Um, sometimes you don't need them. Sometimes you do. Um, sometimes you, you use this and then you magi magician souls it away. Pretty slick. And then just staples to round it out. Three called by the group. And then, as I said, I like to play lightning song with my locals. And magician uh, monster reborn and foolish burial. Just generically all around good cards. Um, in terms of extra, extra deck, it is a bit awkward, but we'll cut over to that and we'll see the kind of stuff that you can do. So as for extra deck options, of course we have all the cards that we must play. Think of the Guard Dragons, uh, Striker, Garden Rose Maiden, Needle Fiver, Apollosa, Savage. So like all the cards that we must must play in order to, to combo off. Oh, and uh, if we play the Buster, of course we have to play Union Carrier. Other options that we can include, um, because we're playing a lot of, I guess, level one monsters, we can play Formula. Because, for example, where we have a level one Tuna and then we Link Cross, we can go into formula, which can then go into Marcha with, an, with another level one creature. We can go into Arclight. That's an, an, another option. Uh, sometimes this deck gets a lot of free monsters. So it might be good to have IP with a unicorn. And of course, uh, having the, the Link Creeper for the combo op potentials and options previously. And Spheres is always good. And of course, you can always go into like cards uh, from this way with the Garden Rose. You can go into cards like uh, Crystal Wing as well. Really, just the world's your oyster, and you just have to pick and choose what you want. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, fun little deck. Uh, it's really cool. Um, really good to play dragons again. Uh, I tried to play Old Lich, but it didn't really work out. Kind of boring. But I hopefully try to release some cool, amazing combo content for y'all. Uh, shout out Chaotic Factory. Peace out, everyone. Oh, I have a new card. Maybe I should flex this. Uh, what is it? The Collector's Extrav. It's not that good, though. But, yeah. Rest in peace, Ib. Peace out, guys. See ya.